So guys, I <coughs> the pepper that was here, I microwave it because it's been in the fridge for like three weeks now. So I microwave it and I'm adding to the one I boil, the pepper I boiling, you know, so I'm making fry sauce. And now it's thick. I'm gonna leave it for another maybe like two minutes or so. Or even less than two minutes because hunger, hunger is catching me right now. And this is the pot that have the vegetable soup I made yesterday. It's a bit dry, although it's really nice. I had it with it by yesterday that yesterday that I make it, it was really really nice. So I transfer it here and <coughs> I'm gonna be using this pot. This pot is so good and it's very fast of cooking. So I'm going to um, make the fry sauce and I'll add the vegetables. So we'll use it for rice. You can even use it for swallow anything you want, but this is how I want it to be honest. So I think the pepper is okay. So I'm going to take it from the cooker and I'm going to put this. <clears throat> I feel a bit much better when I add my watermelon guys I finished it it was so good so with this fry sauce I'll be using palm oil not vegetable oil that is what I'm craving for and it's called Zumi Zumi brand palm oil is very good it used to be very good that's one I've been buying for years and years and years until one day I bought it. The smell was really, really bad. And I'm like, oh, you know, things happen. Maybe it just that one time. Then I keep buying it. The smells keep going bad, bad, bad. Then I change it to uh, like African choice or Nigeria palm oil. And I've been enjoying it since then. But my auntie recommended it to me again that, oh, this is what she's been using. That someone recommended it that it's good. So... I didn't actually buy this to be honest. This is the one my auntie have and she gave it to me. So the smell is really good. It just smells like my the palm oil my mom will make because my mom too used to make palm oil and sell, you know. So it's really good. It smell like it's called Zumi. Zumi palm oil uh from Ghana. So yeah, if you guys can see and you guys can see already have the their star. They're not a joke with their star. So with this fry sauce, I would have used it fancy and add, um, you know, tomato paste and garlic. Although I use garlic to blend with the pepper, you know, to add all different flavor, crayfish, this, I don't want, I have all that in the house, but I'm not adding any. I just want it plain because I'm not feeling with If it has too much flavor, I'll get tired of it quickly. So I'm just going to make it plain. All I want to taste there is just the fish, the pepper. And the palm oil and the salt and the seasoning cube that is all and the fish that I mentioned the grilled fish we grew yesterday with our air fryer is it air fry is it air fryer yeah. so I'm just waiting for this to get hot um I'm not even going to cut onions and chop <clears throat> just want it local way so I want this to get really really hot really really hot okay guys so once it's hot i'll be back and then we'll pour our thick pepper this one is pepper there's no tomato inside it's just the bell pepper the long pepper the swiss wrong pepper onions and scotch bonnet the one i blend and put the one in the in the ice cream bowl that i have in the freezer i use it to cook jollof fry some time ago so the remaining i just kept it in the fridge that if i want to make a furry roll or I want to make some back, back, back. I want to cook beans, I'll use it, but I never use it, so I just remember. And the pepper I had in the house wasn't enough, so I had it just to get enough. <clears throat> I want it to, I don't want to bleach it, I just want it to get really, really hot before I fall. So once, if, once it's hot, I'll come back and show you guys what I'm doing. Meanwhile, maybe I should start washing my rice now. And in one of my videos, I showed the rice I was um, the recent rice I've been cooking. And uh, one of you sent me a comment, I didn't really show the rice. So I'm going to bring the rice now and I'll show you guys. 
The rice is really good. It's good. Before I used to buy satara, although I still use satara, it depends. And the one I'm using now is very expensive. It's thirteen ninety nine for how many kg? I think it's five kg. Meanwhile, satara is I think nine ninety nine or ten ninety nine. What is the difference really? I don't really know the difference. The, what me I'm after is the quality. It doesn't matter if it's so expensive or it's cheaper. It might be cheaper, but if the quality is good, I'll go for it. If it's expensive and the quality is good, I'll go for the expensive. You know, I'm after the quality. What I will enjoy. Because I work so hard, I won't say, yeah, I'll buy this, it's too expensive. But by the end of the day, I'm paying bills. You know, when you're paying bills, you cannot tell the car insurance that, oh, it's too expensive, I cannot pay. It's, you have to pay. There's so many bills you have to pay. Your electricity, you won't say, oh, it's too expensive, I'm not going to pay. You have to pay. So what I'm going to eat inside my tummy, why do I have to be looking for cheap, 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 cheap thing where I go put inside my belly? I don't look for cheap, cheap electricity because we must, you must it's compulsory, you must pay your bills. Water bills. I don't say, oh, this water bill is too much. I'm looking for the cheapest one. You don't have choice. You have to pay it. So when it comes to your stomach, why are you looking for cheap, cheap things? I don't understand. I don't get it. We only live once. People that have money, that have everything, they are dying every day. So just to let you know that money, death does not know wealthy or poor. When your time comes, your time comes, you know. So... I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm glad that with all this sickness that happened to me, I'm still alive. Even though this sickness have not really leave me, but I'm happy I'm still breathing, I'm talking to you guys. You can imagine some people that um, they are not even sick, they just went to bed and they never woke up. Or they are just in the house and they never came out. And they were like, hmm, he didn't come to work today. What's going on? They called the phone, they ring and they went to his house. So, so many occasions like that, people I know it happened to them. That, oh, they went to the house and they find, you know, on the floor for days, this person has been mad. It's not like they mad, it's just, uh, you know, what they will say, heart failure, heart failure, heart failure. Or it could be heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. When something happens to you and they can't really diagnose it, immediately infected, they rather say heart attack or panic attack. You know what I mean? So, we have to be careful. This is getting hot now. Let me go and bring the rice. Okay, guys, I brought the rice. So, this is the rice. All of you sent me a comment that I didn't really show the rice properly. This guy, can you see? That's the price, $13.99. And this is it. There's two different types. There's one that is white and there's one that is gold. You go for the golden one. It's even written here. Can you see? Go for the golden one. Or you can go for, if you are somebody that you like, uh, the white, the white rice, gang, 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 gang. one that is white, they also have it, but me, I don't like it, I feel like, mm, it tastes like jasmine rice for me, I'm not really a jasmine rice person, unless I'm craving for it, but this is golden one, and that is the name, you guys see, yeah, and I've been cooking this satara for years, this is, this one too is good, the brand is very good as well, and this one is cheaper anyway, but now it's getting expensive. I remember I used to buy this rice for maybe like two ninety nine. Now it's four ninety nine. Can you guys see? For how many kg? It's not even up to oh two kg. This one is this one is five kg. Yeah. And there's other one I used to buy is written jollof rice. So when I discover this, I don't buy that anymore. So those are the two rice currently I use. They are both good for fried rice, jollof rice, white rice, anything you want to make at all. Any Nigerian cuisine <laughs> or any Nigerian mm -mm, you want to make, they are both good. Let me open my door. I think the palm oil is getting hot. Hello, Johnny. I got to ask my daughter if she wants rice. Just gonna put it here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour the pepper. Oof. The oil is hot, guys. But it's not bleach, but it's hot, like it wants to start bleaching. So I don't want it to bleach. I'm 
rolling bag. So I want it to fry. Fantastic. Mm. You know what? If you have the best palm oil, it's not it's not best palm oil that we're using to cook and the smell will just pull you off. You know there are some palm oil like that. That they smell really really bad. So I'm gonna add two two um seasoning cube. No, two no. <coughs> I don't know whether it's two I should put or just let me just put one first because it's only pepper I blend. And this pepper can be sweet sometimes, you know. Not even sometimes, all the time they are very sweet. So I don't want to I don't want it to be too sweet because we are already sweet. <laughs> you want to add too much sweet stuff. Which I put is sweet. That's it. And I'll just add aromat because it needs salt. I know the seasoning inside this one already, so whatever seasoning is here is not gonna affect this one, trust me. I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to allow this to fry for maybe like six, six to ten minutes, sure. Yeah. Six to ten minutes, yes, guys. Six to ten minutes. So let me see. Mm. I'm not really tasting what I'm supposed to be tasting. Yeah. Mm. So I'll go and wash the rice. I'll be back once I finish washing the rice. I'm going to add salt. This is the rice. I've already washed it and I put water. What I normally do, I just mix it like this to taste the water if the salt is enough. I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I just put the salt and it's always right. Anyway, I've never got it wrong once. But I still like doing like this sometimes when I'm in the mood. So now I'm going to add vegetable oil. I have vegetable oil. So that when it's boiling, it won't be foaming. We'll start foaming and and sometimes I normally add onions. I'll chop onions and I'll add. So I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I'm using the same plug for the this thing. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, I can cook the rice here. That's not a problem. That's it. That one is cooking. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this. Um, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this in the microwave to heat it up before pouring it here. And I'm using this frame to cover it up. I know I've got several comments. You guys telling me this is not good for me to use. But anytime I buy the microwave cover, we don't use it. To be honest, we don't use maybe because me personally I'm lazy to be using it, to be taking it out, to be washing it. I don't know. We don't just use it for one thing and the other. We end up using this. And I know they say this is not good, this is not good. But the way the world is going now, my people. I won't die, person they die. It could come by. Some people they will do everything they are meant to do. 
I know somebody that knows somebody that she doesn't need cleaning, she doesn't need palm oil, vegetable oil, she needs olive oil, she needs, all she needs is vegetable, she's trying to stay healthy and those kind of stuff. You know? And then she had a car accident. There were three people in the car. She was the only one that died. So whether you eat or you don't eat or you do this, you do that, you do that. When your time comes, your time comes. You know? So just live your life, I beg. I appreciate those of you that are telling me, but obviously me too, I know it's not good, but I can't be bothered anymore, guys. Let me just live life the way the whole life is natural. They provide that for us to buy. I use it for making sandwich or making a bar or swallow. And we are, some people use it for microwave. I'm not the only person. So let me just go. I'm not going to go my pizza. So this sauce, I feel like it's not quite fried the way I want it. So I'll leave it more. So I'm just warming that. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. I'm going to I'm going to take out the fish. The grilled fish I'm just adding. Allow this to cook for five minutes or three minutes before I'll add the vegetable because I don't want it to be overcooked. That's it. Those of you that you didn't watch the video when I make this vegetable soup, the vegetable that is here is ugu and fresh spinach. That was the vegetable. Because those of you that you didn't watch, you might be wondering what vegetable is that. It tastes so good and it smells so yummy. So I'm going to close this. It's going to just cook together. And then to be ready. And this one, I purposely leave some. I'm gonna be eating it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Mm. It is ready. This is how it looks. Look, look at the steam. The steam will not let us see. This is how it looks. It smells so yummy. So I'm just waiting for the rice to cook. I use foil to cover the rice. It'll soon be ready. It's still on cook, can you guys see?